Hello, everyone. Uh, just to kind of recap what's been going on the past couple of weeks, uh, the party that I'm part of um, was arrested by a bunch of monks and sentenced to death because we were killing pretty much anyone we found. Uh, probably not smart, but that's kind of the way we are at the moment. Um, we, uh, we went back to a town after we had gotten away from the monks, and there were rumors spreading around that there were terrorists in the era, area, uh, and of course we are those terrorists. Um, and one of our people uh, was in the process of getting arrested uh, last week when we ended for the night. Um, she is now in jail, uh, meeting, and since two characters died um, la uh, during the execution, um, you know, they had to create new characters, and this character that got jailed met up with uh, another character um, who is new, new to the group. Um, and he is a monk that doesn't like monks, and he's a criminal, which makes complete sense in some form or another, I guess. Um, Anyways, so um, word got back to the town's constable that we were the people um, that the monks were looking for in order to, you know, find and kill. Um, and the constable agreed to meet us uh, at midnight one night because, you know, we had done a bunch of stuff for this town. Good things. So he thought he'd give us a chance to explain ourselves. Now, uh, the the terms of this meeting, though, were that we were leaving our weapons at the inn and going there un completely unarmed. So we go to this clearing, and while we're there talking to the constable, um, you know, we see uh, we're in this clearing in the woods, and it happens to be a little bit higher up so that we can look down on the town, and we see basically an elemental wormhole open uh, in the center of town. And so we start seeing things get sucked in. The constable goes running. We go running after him. Uh, at this point, the party somewhat splits up. Um, me and somebody else decide to go to the inn to try to get our weapons. Uh, the innkeeper, you know, she's trying to hurry people out. We just kind of blow past her, go to the room that we were staying at, and find that the the not only was the door unlocked, but all the weapons were gone. And we're like, oh, great. Uh, uh, we started coming out of the room, and we end up seeing somebody get killed by, like, a flying piece of debris. Um, and we can hear the innkeeper yelling, but we can't understand what she's saying. So we run downstairs, and she's saying, oh, all you care about was their weapons. There's people in the kitchen that need help. And at that point, there's an explosion in the kitchen, there's fire, we can see burning people, and we feel really, really bad, <laughs> but at this point, there's really nothing we can do, so we all book it out of there. Um, in the meantime, um, the other people are with the constable, um, and uh, actually, no, they're not. So they go to the jail to try to get our person out, and they successfully do this. Uh, we all meet up on uh, the edge of town, and um, basically as soon as the entire town is swallowed up, the, the wormhole just vanishes. And you see, like, stuff falling from the sky and everything, and we see a lot of bodies, we see a lot of body parts. Not good. I'm assuming those people are dead because they probably need those body parts. Um, but, you know, there's there's only a handful of people left uh, of this town. And uh, it was just, it was kind of funny, well, kind of funny looking back at it, but we were all, like, you know, just us, not our characters, but, like, us playing it. We were all kind of in shock and just, like, silent for a little while. Because we're like, oh, that was not good. And we felt really bad because um, only, 
uh, according to the DM, 5% of the people survived. Um, so there's only about 20 people left other than our party. And, you know, that's that's a lot of devastation right there. So uh, the constable decides to go back to see if he can find any more survivors. Um, some of our party does that, goes with and helps out. Um, uh, me and the other character that um, went to the inn to go try to retrieve our stuff. Um, basically, the innkeeper's just pissed at us. So we decide to go back to the inn, see if we can find any remaining survivors. Um, and uh, I also decide to look around to see if we can find anything of significance. Um, rolled pretty well for that. I got a 21 for that, I think. I think it was an 18 with a plus 3 modifier. So, rolled pretty well, and what I had found was in the area that had been the innkeeper's room, um, I found a portrait. Um, it's There's a little girl with a, a adult man, and it seems like they're related somehow, possibly. It's a very fatherly figure with possibly a daughter. Um, I was wondering if maybe that was, you know, a, a her, that the innkeeper at a younger age, um, or maybe this was her husband and her daughter. Still not sure that significance. Um, but I take the picture and I hand it to her and she just tears up and She's like, I totally misjudge you, um, you know, you're you're a good person, type of thing. And um, that was kind of where we left off, you know, all this devastation and everything. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to know how the next couple weeks go. I can't attend. Uh, first of all, this coming Wednesday, uh, Sharknado 2 comes out on Sci-Fi. Woo! And I was being made fun of um, because I'm going to be watching Sharknado 2 instead of playing D&D, &D, which in the nerd realm is kind of funny to me. Um, and then the following week is Gen Con. Um, I'll be leaving um, earlier that day for Gen Con, so obviously I cannot be at two places at once. Um, other than that, uh, I guess I will be making another video in a few weeks when, when I'm back in the area and I'm available to play. Alright, see you next time!